Hi everyone, it's Janice and today I'm here to show you another Harry Potter book I've just completed. I was asked to make this for a lady and it is a lot different from that first one I made. The fabric's different and the image is similar but it has a dragon and Gryffindor and it all Mod Podge and that's a cutout of Harry, Hermione and Ron. So as you can see, it's a Hogwarts fabric. I'll just show you the back. You can see the fabric better. And the spine, I've stitched a ruffle. And then I've added the dangle, which is detachable. And it has the sorting hat. I'll put Ravenclaw on there this, for this particular book. And the Deathly Hallows and Quidditch. So the closure is Harry Potter braid. The fabric inside is the Marauder fabric and this pocket's made up of some little envelopes and that's the envelope, the letter that Harry received to go to Hogwarts. Lots of writing paper, lots of cutouts and that's a new fabric I received for, for this book, uh, the Gryffindor one. So it is featured throughout the book. A little tuck spot and that's got a Hedwig bookmark. There are lots of cutouts. There's Harry at the station. That's his ticket. This is my second time going through this book. So <laughs> there's a collage note card of Hermione envelope and a little tuck spot with the frog and Hogwarts. I've used storybook paper throughout and there's a note card and a tag with a Gryffindor belly band. Another pocket and a wax seal envelope with a note card. And this time I've collaged a page of Slytherin, just a single page and I've done another one of, of Hufflepuff. There's a little charm of Hedwig on that one. Middle of the first signature, there are three signatures in the book and this fabric's got the wizards and the train, that's a note card, and also the cat, yeah, the cat and Hedwig note card and that one's got some beautiful lace, a little key charm in the middle of that one. These are just little flips, that's a little envelope and the snake. And this is the Hufflepuff collage page with a little flip. More writing paper. That's Harry and all of them. Ravenclaw pocket with some, a bookmark and a note card. Another envelope, window envelopes with a note card and part of the staircase at Hogwarts. Lots of little note quotes, but I won't read them out in case this cuts out again. A piece of writing paper behind that bookmark and a little note card in the tuck spot there. These pages I printed on storybook paper and the Aegon Alley and Hagrid and the bank. So another note card, potions. That's a decoration, that one, and I've put a bit piece of the braid of Slytherin there. More note cards. Oh, a little charm on that one. Oh, I missed it anyway. There's a charm and a pocket with the Slytherin fabric on that one. And there they are. So this is the start of the second signature. More little tags in there. I left this half undone because <laughs> to save me a bit of time. But it's a full page envelope and it's got some note paper in there 
and it just does up with some embroidery thread which I'll leave undone and another little note card in that tuck spot a pocket and there's the train with the little chocolate frog this page has been tea dyed and distressed and I've added Hufflepuff and Ravenclaw on there a pocket that's a cut out of the sorting hat and so is that one on the pocket another note card in that one and that one's also been printed on the storybook paper wax seal envelope and Slytherin bookmark and a note card the party don't start till I Slytherin this one's an envelope and I've decorated it all with the Gryffindor the badge with a bit of cheesecloth at the back and it has some note paper and that one's the fabric the new fabric and I've put a dragon on there another envelope and that's got Harry in that one head wig on that oh I missed that there's a little flip out there head wig and hadred and the dragon I was asked to put some different animals in here by Mandy so I hope you like them there's the Gryffindor fabric and that one's got a little key um, in the middle and some beautiful lace there's the troll and a collage one of Harry and Buckbeak this one's an envelope which flips out and it's got writing paper so I'll fix that up later and another envelope here the chess game and another piece of ruffle that's the marauder fabric and this one's a flip out and it's got some writing paper in that one as well Hermione and Harry that's a cut out of Hedwig and more of the Gryffindor fabric so bright it's beautiful envelope and some writing paper in that one and the map of the UK and Scotland out of that map book one of Hadrid and that one's backed the cutouts back with some hessian there that's a page decoration with Hufflepuff and that's the other side of that cardstock and I'll put the Gryffindor and Slytherin on the back another tuck spot with a marauder map bookmark lots of decoration they're new ones and I've just decorated those ones down that page little envelope here with Hermione in that one now this one's a third signature and that's got a charm on that Gryffindor fabric as well and this pocket mainly Hedwig and that's a little cut out actually it's a little small envelope I've attached to that pocket and here he is there's Dobby oh, I think he's so cute and I've featured him on there and put a cut out with some lace on there some Hufflepuff note cards this one's an envelope flip so it's got a little note card in here also this side and then this one goes in that pocket it slides in at the top but I've already had it out so I miss putting it back so that goes like that and then it just gets tied up which I'll do later before this cuts out again a note card of Ravenclaw there's the cat Hermione's cat 
Another little envelope with a tiny note card in that one. Put that back properly. More bookmarks or tags. They all come under the same name. Another pocket. And this one came out of this one as well. Um, you now it comes in from the bottom. So that one goes, I'll put it back later, but that one goes into that envelope. Another little ruffle on there. And this one's another flip. One of the proclamations. This one's the middle of the third signature and there's Dobby. Um, that's an actual braid. It's beautiful gold braid. So I've sort of matched Dobby up, putting a silhouette on there of him and silhouettes of Harry, Hermione and Ron on that page. That one's come out of here. So that just slides up the bottom bit, comes back out. And another note card there. That's another little envelope just for decoration. Another piece of decoration. Did I miss a page? No. An envelope of slipper. And that's got a note card in that one. Keep calm because I'm Slytherin. It's quite a big book, this one. I didn't think I'd ever finish it. And that's the signpost, and I'll put all that with um, tea dyed paper at the back of that one. With Dumbledore. This one's a note card of Hogwarts, and it's also a flip. For more writing paper. Ravenclaw, that one's a flip as well. Just um, a note card on the back of that one. This one's an altered paper clip and I haven't put anything underneath it but I made it of Dobby. Dobby is a free elf so that can be attached to any page you like and then all you have to do is just add something underneath, a little note or something you want to keep and, and that's the back of it. And that's the back of the book with the Marauder fabric. So that's the completed journal Mandy. I hope you like it. Thanks everyone for watching. Bye for now.